When the OED decided that they wanted to open up an office in New York, I was here. There weren't too many people experienced in this kind of work, and I was lucky enough to get it. My job has to do with anything and everything relating to American entries for the OED, whether it's new or old. Uh, I look them over. My main interest is in American slang. Everyone is interested in slang. Everyone uses a bit of slang, but it's been very little studied seriously. So, if you're willing to do the work, there's really a lot you can do to explaining and understanding and finding the origin of expressions that people just haven't looked at seriously before. I think Americans have always reveled in their informality, and I think British people have always recognized that. That one of the one of the hallmarks of American English has been its acceptance of slang and new words.、Uh, some people like this; many people don't in England. But it's certainly the case that American English has always been marked by this. One of our recent terms is boy toy.、Uh, this was popularized by Madonna. She had famously a. Belt buckle that read "Boy Toy" on the cover of her、uh, "Like a Virgin" album in 1984, and spread from there.、Uh, she was using it ironically, but many people then began to use it, just meaning a young and attractive woman regarded as a plaything for men. But earlier was the use "any toy for boys," a toy that appeals chiefly to boys or to men.、Uh, and there's also the sense of "boy toy," meaning a boy who is a toy, that is, a, a young man used as a plaything by a rich older woman. The accuracy of the dictionary is the most important thing for me.、Uh, it's what I work for every day. When I make mistakes that appear in the dictionary, I feel very bad about it. And getting everything right is the most important thing for me. I, I work towards that every day. Oh, I can't imagine what I would be doing if I weren't a lexicographer, and I hope I don't have to imagine that.